Hello, welcome to another Try Your Hand. Today we're going to be making a mini Zen garden. But before we get started, I'd like to take just a few minutes to explain the thought behind Zen gardens. The Zen philosophy was brought to Japan from China in about the 12th century, where it was appreciated for its focus on control and self-discipline. In the 14th century, gardens began to appear around the Zen temples. These are the Zen gardens uh, that we'll be making today in a miniature form. In the gardens, water is represented by the sand, which is then raked into a wave-like pattern. Rocks are used to represent different features of the landscape, such as islands, mountains, trees, and even animals. They're arranged in a balanced manner, manner, but not symmetrical. They're often arranged in groups of three. The purpose of a Zen garden is to reduce stress, to improve focus, and develop a sense of well-being. Now that you know a little bit of the history of Zen gardens, we're going to get started on making our own. Let's take a look at the supplies that came in your kit. First, you're going to have a plate, a bag of sand, and then another bag that has a variety of rocks and the rake. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is Gently pour the sand into the dish. We don't want to pour it too fast because you will get dust that will um, come up into the air. So just slide it into the dish. Once you have it poured in the dish, you can just smooth it out with your hand or give it a little shake. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be raking it. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Your rake you're going to be making like wave designs. Remember, this is supposed to be the water in your landscape. If there's something you don't like, the back of your rake can be used to smooth it out, which you'll be doing a lot because that's the purpose of the Zen garden to just be relaxing and easy to do. Then remember I said that the stones represented different aspects of the landscape and they're generally arranged in groups of three. So let's say over here we have some mountains and over here we'll put Stand them upright and we'll have a couple of trees. And then we have other stones that you can just do however you like. You can put stones on top of stones. Whatever is appealing to you. You're definitely not limited to the items that you got in your bag. If you have some special stones of your own, maybe you like um, stones that you picked up at a beach someplace, go ahead and use those in your landscape, whatever you like. Even if you have little figures, I've got a few here with me, well, you can just stick those in there it doesn't have to be a, you don't have to be strict with this. I gave you the idea that started Zen gardens, but you are free to use whatever you want in your own Zen garden. Just make it something that you appreciate and that you'll enjoy looking at. Another thing that we've added for your Zen garden is that you can choose a stamp that we will have 3D printed here at the library. Here is an example of one. And this is just used to make impressions in the sand. So you just gently put that in the sand. And you can make a pattern that way. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope 
you join us next time for Try Your Hand. Our next project is going to be some four edge painting on books. So if you're interested, go onto our calendar and check that out. Bye!